YouTube family, we're doing a seafood board collaboration with Bless Row Cooks. I want you guys to go over there and check out her channel to see what she's cooking up, and I know it's going to be good. Now, let's get into the video. Hey, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. We're doing us a crab boil. So I got me a large pot full of water and I'm adding one stick of butter. I got some of this here Louisiana crab boil seasoning that I'm tossing in this here as well. And I got my temperature set at high heat. I got some of this Carolina cooker seafood boil seasoning. I got this locally. And if you want to, you can definitely order some of this online. I love this here stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, it's I, I use it all the time. Now I got some of this here Obey hot seasoning. Yes, I want a little heat to it. And this Obey seasoning is off the chain. I'm not playing with y'all. You cannot over season this here pot. I'm telling you, you cannot over season it. The next season I'm going to use is some of this here Carolina style lemon pe pepper seasoning. All right. After I add that, I'm washing up some potatoes. I got the red potatoes, the white potatoes, and I'm cleaning these things thoroughly. You don't want no dirt floating around in that there pot. So I'm going to add these to the pot. Now I'm adding in one large Vidalia onion. I like the sweetness of a Vidalia onion. It just does something to a dish. And I took some whole corns and I just chopped these up in little quarters. And I'm adding these to the pot as well. So I want to continue to boil the potatoes, the corn, and also that onion in this here. Now my potatoes will, once my potatoes get too pick tender or fork tender, that's when you could take everything out, all right? And I like keeping my potatoes whole and not halving them because it seems if you half them, half your potatoes and cook them, they will come out mushy. So this works best for me if I leave my potatoes whole. <laughs> Now, this is what I call the first stage, cooking the corn, the potatoes, and that onion the first round. Now, this is the second round. I'm adding in my smoked sausages, and I'm using some pork smoked sausages. You could use beef. You could use turkey. You could use whatever type of sausages you like. Even if you want to use andouilles, you could definitely use andouilles. It don't matter. It's your dish. It's your seafood boil. Make it your own. So I got me some hard boiled eggs at least. I think these are around about 12, I believe. I got 12 hard boiled eggs. Well, not hard boiled yet. Not anyway, but raw eggs. And I'm tossing them in with the sausages. I just want to boil these eggs and the sausages together. And the sausages is definitely going to flavor up this here pot. Now, once these eggs are are boiled and I let this cook for at least around about 12 to 15 minutes. You could take everything out of the pot. Now we're going to go ahead and clean our snow crabs. Never, never, never take snow crabs from straight out of the box to your pot. Clean your crabs, okay? This is the reason why. You see that barnacle right there? You don't want that swimming around in your pot. Clean your crabs thoroughly. Please clean your crabs thoroughly. Don't serve this to nobody if you don't clean your crabs.
Now, since we have our eggs and our sausages cooked and set to the side, now we're going to go to round three. Round three is adding our snow crabs to this here broth. And I'm telling you right now, if you could just smell the aroma up in this here place, man, it'll turn some heads in your tongue. We'll definitely do some cotwheels. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pack this pot. I'm going to pack this pot from the bottom all the way to the top. Now I'm going to add more water to this. If you have to add more water to it, go ahead and do so. It's not going to hurt anything. Now we're gonna go ahead and make some hallelujah crab sauce. So let's get this thing popping. I got me a wok and I'm using three whole sticks of butter and I just want these to melt down. But as far as my seasoning goes, this is what I'm using. I got some of this here roasted garlic, red bell pepper seasoning. I bought it from Ross. You guys know that Ross is the boss, all right? Then I'm using some of this here garlic and onion blend and I got this from Ross as well. And I'm also going to toss in some of this here cayenne pepper just for a little heat. Now, this thing is going to have some heat, y'all, but it's going to be good. Not so enough the way it's going to burn you up. But I'm adding some of this here Old Bay, and this is the hot type, all right? And I'm also going to toss in some of this here salt, all right? Don't worry about it, y'all. It's not going to be over salty, trust and believe me, all right? I'm telling you the honest truth. It's not going to be over salty. And then I'm going to toss in some onion powder. Now, with the onion powder, you can go as light as you want, heavy as you want. It's not going to hurt you. And I want you to use your own judgment and your own measurements. So I'm throwing in some cayenne seasoning, all right? Some Cajun seasoning, I'm sorry. Tossing in some Cajun seasoning. And I'm also going to toss in some black pepper. And this is definitely going to make some good sauce for those crab legs. And now, last but not least, some parsley flakes. All right. So for since we are still making this here sauce, I got me some minced garlic. If you want to use fresh garlic, be my guest. You can use as much as you want. So I'm just tossing in four tablespoons in this here. And then I have this here. This is the secret to this here sauce, the crab paste with bean oil. I got this at the um, Asian market. And I'm telling you, y'all, this is a game changer. So I'm using um, around three tablespoons of this here crab paste with bean sauce. Then I have some hot sauce, some Texas peat. I'm just tossing that in. All right. And like I said, use your own measurements. Let the ancestors tell you when to stop. Now, for the veggies for this sauce, I got some green peppers, red peppers, orange peppers, and some onions and some chopped ginger. And I'm tossing them in, okay? And now, since I got these tossed in, I want to go ahead and slide in the seasonings. And then I just want to go and give everything a mix. And this is going to be some of the best, no, no I'm just joking, y'all, but it's going to be some good sauce for your crabs, all right? I call this the hallelujah sauce, and I'm tossing in some brown sugar as well, y'all, all right? And I got one more ingredient that I'm going to add to this, and I just love this ingredient, okay? And I think it will definitely, it did help out this dish, and um, after the brown sugar, I'm tossing in just a little bit of this here Nora's chicken flavoring. 
Yes, you know I got to use my Nora's. She just does something to me. I love you, boo-boo. And now I'm tossing in some water to add a little volume to this and mixing up everything. If you want to add you some chicken broth or something like that, be my guest, do so. But I like the Nora, and then this water would definitely help me out a little bit with blending up these seasonings. And I just want to cook this for at least around about a good 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes to let all the flavors come through. If you want to add a little heat like I did, y'all, look at right here. Look right here. I got some pepper blends, and I got some ghost peppers, some um, chocolate Buddha peppers. I just added just a little bit just to add a little heat to it, just a little bit. And I mean, it was good, y'all. I'm, I'm not even going to joke. It, it was good. So I let this simmer for at least around about a good 20 minutes on top of the stove. And then once that was simmered down, I, it's now time for me to go ahead and take the crabs out of the pan. And come on, y'all, we're talking about some good seafood boil. I'm telling you, I love this here. And basically, we are done. The only thing that I've done to this, um, I went and took those crabs, put everything in the pan. And I like taking my broth from the, um, from, from the crab, from that pot, and I add it to the pans with the crab so they can soak in. I like the flavor still soaking inside that meat whenever I'm doing a seafood boil, all right? So I hope you really enjoyed this here video and continue to watch this video to the very end. I'm telling you, try this here recipe. You'll love it. Now please go over to Bless Row Cooks and see exactly what she's cooking up on her YouTube channel and subscribe to her channel. Tell her that Ray Mac sent you over. This is definitely an awesome collaboration and Bless Row, I want to say thank you so much for doing this collaboration with me. I also want to say thank you guys for checking out this here video. If you could, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on my photo right now. Watch these two videos. Comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Love and not hate. Love somebody but hate nobody. Peace.